Okay, so this is a Philips USB-C to USB-A 4 port hub or adapter. And yes, it can do audio video inputs, of course, depends what you're uh, plugging in. But why I really like this one is for mobile phones believe it or not you can actually use it that way but first let me just unpack it and uh, for uh, just your information i bought this with my own money i did not get it for free i did not get paid for this i'm just doing it because i wanted to show you what's possible with this philips usb and this is a user's manual and all that good stuff and here is the device itself it's aluminum built Really high quality aluminum here, aluminum here, aluminum all over. It has four USB-A ports inside, one, two, three, and four, and a USB-C in the other side. So my main reason for even buying this one is phones. Yes, all the newer phones. This one I broke, but uh, you get the point. It's a Note 20 Ultra. This is a Google Pixel, and most of the other phones don't have external storage or expandable storage and what do you do in that case for example uh this note 9 has uh expandable storage so you can put an a uh, micro sd card but let's say you want to go further and and you want to put more storage on it right transfer files let's say you're running low on memory here and you want to put those files somewhere else or you want to grab quick documents or something from a usb flash drive right all you have to do just plug it on the phone and the phone should recognize it there's no need for extra drivers so let's say you're just wanting to transfer files or running low on memory on uh, storage or whatnot right and you're on your phone you can have this little guy in your pocket literally that's how big it is and let's say you have a lot of usbs that you have documents or you want to take stuff from your phone and put it on a usb to put it in your computer or just to save it around with you right well just plug it in right here and wait for it to say usb uh storage one as you see right there, USB storage one. But how about a second one? Well, why not? A second one, wait for it to say USB storage two. Okay, right there, USB storage two. How about a third one? Why not, right? Let's put a third one and wait for it to say USB storage three. Boom, now we have one, two, and three USB storage uh, devices put on this phone and you can click them and you can copy files. You can copy files either between them between your phone and them, and between them and your phone, and it is so beautiful. And it's it has enough speed, and it's very versatile. You can use the same exact USB dongle for your laptop, MacBook, or whatever you have, or even a tablet. As long as it has USB-C, this will work perfect. Now, I could put four USBs here, and they will all be recognized. But unfortunately, there's not enough physical space here to fit a USB. But you get the point. This is beautiful. Now, let me try the same thing on uh, the Google phone. And let's see if it works. Boom. They all should disappear. Boom. Gone. And okay. It is plugged in. And now let's uh, start putting USBs in. Well, let me go to documents first. These are the files and uh we're gonna put one usb just like we did in the other phone and it should show up uh somewhere here yep usb flash disk and that's the way you would do it with uh, other phones too now on uh google phones for example i would highly suggest to download a uh different file uh explorer browser because sometimes this uh default one eh, google files is or android files whatever you want to call it is not exactly the best thing you can use but basically this drives the point point home and yes it works whether it's a google phone samsung phone revel cheapo phone other samsung phone as long as they have a usb c on the bottom they should work just fine on almost all the phones even if it doesn't work with all three USBs at the same time, it should at least work one by one. So you can have extra uh, uh, file storage with you at all times if you need to. Because of course now we all have to have a cloud. Because heavens forbid we have our own storage. That is a big no-no. We have to hire someone else's computer or rent it to save our files. <laughs> it's, uh, it's cute. 
But for example, there's a lot of guys like me that are technically paranoid online and I just don't trust any cloud. I have nothing against them. That I, I believe they're a beautiful technology for who wants to utilize them. I just do not believe in cloud. I just don't trust it. I'm renting someone else's computer. We've seen a lot of uh, bad stuff happen to servers and even mega corporations that, you know, have this safety feature and that safety feature. It happens. But on my own computer, at least I have three to four different copies of those files. And most of the files are really not too important to most people but to me they are there's family stuff there's documents there's uh programs there's music there's movies there's a lot of stuff that i need to have handy if one of the drives gets i don't know locked from some uh so-called hackers but they're really just criminals disguised as keyboard warriors well they're not getting my money because i have three or four more copies of that exact drive so it's not happening but if that happens on a cloud, yeah, where do I go? How many clouds do I have copies of? So you see why devices like this is not bad to think about because you can put all this pile here throughout it and it's just peace of mind. It is literally peace of mind because unfortunately all these companies are thinking that removing expandable storage is a great idea great great job ah <laughs> uh, i cannot believe i am even living the day that i'm saying these words but we have to so now you have a solution i will leave link down in the description not sponsored by the way the only way i get paid if you buy through this link is from amazon itself yes i make a very small commission probably next to nothing on this one because it's cheap but i make something on commissions at uh, nothing extra from you so it will cost you nothing extra if you buy through my link and it supports this channel. And I thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later. Bye.